Okay, so this is going to be a fairly long one. So in order to make the episode something of a tolerable watch and not be 45 minutes long or an hour long or whatever, I'm going to chop the shit out of it. So we are moving along and we've got these, um, well, we got some familiar faces up ahead. And uh, I'm not sure how happy you're going to be to see them. Huh? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, the, the hell are you people doing here? Ah, ah, wouldn't you like to know? I mean, I would too, and it looks like crap. But it's definitely pulsing with a ridiculous hey, amount of power. Once we flip it, we'll be swimming in lakes of gill. Hey, Cloud, isn't that... Oh, hell no! Don't you dare act like you've forgotten Vex badasses! Yeah, you walked into our home and beat us to shit! We hadn't even done nothing! You big jerks! You're responsible for the destruction of our charitable organization! Oh, are we? News to me. <laughs> Midgar isn't big enough for us! We're taking our operations worldwide! We've gone legit! We're a business now! They're a special kind of stupid. If Shinra can take over the world with Mako, then all we gotta do is find our own treasures, and then we'll be on top! <laughs> yeah! We're gonna appreciate all the things! Hold on! Now you're after our treasure? Well, sucks to be you. We found it. Yeah, we're the only ones who can appreciate it. Hand it over. Now. Ha! You really think that's enough to intimidate the likes? No, oh, please, it's all yours. This don't hurt us again. Wait, Dad! Wait, Dad! Oh, we're freaking out! Now listen here, Numb Nuts. I got a foolproof plan. I call it... Use a decoy! Yeah! Oh, decoy. Oh, decoy means someone's so, gotta... Who's the decoy? All of you! That's who! Oh, 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 decoys! <laughs> Wait. Gentlemen, it has been an honor. If you survive, meet back at the hideout! Damn it! Decoys are dead! Can't afford to lose the These are those doofus um, gang members that we ran across while moving through Sector 5 or 6 or something like that while in Midgard section of the Final Fantasy VII Remake. And they were just these little re reoccurring antagonists that just kept popping up and just causing trouble for us for no real reason. I mean, they were a bunch of dumbasses that got way in over their head, kept getting their asses kicked, but kept coming back for more. And for some reason, here they are again, causing us even more trouble. But as it turns out, in this case, maybe we're the ones causing trouble for them. They found something, and it's something that we want. I'm not sure if they, like, stole it, or if they just found it first. But it's something Chadley says that we need to get, so I guess I'm just gonna beat the shit out of these guys in order to take it. But, you know. Oh, it's all fair as long as you're the good guy, isn't it? <laughs> this one, this one here is the only one that actually stands a chance against us. <laughs> he tanks all of our hits and doesn't get staggered. And he can just keep uh, wailing away. So you just got to get out of his way or block his attacks or something like that. Cloud, my readings indicate the Proto Relic is on the move. Would you mind updating me on the situation? Bandits beat us to it. Oh? I see. Fortunately, I've already ascertained the Proto Relic's destination. Would you mind heading there?
Cloud, I've picked up readings from the Proto-Relic. I believe the bandits are close by. And busy preparing a meal, if I'm not mistaken. They may flee if openly confronted. I suggest using those shipping containers to cover your approach. So we need to go through a little bit of a stealth section, and like an idiot, I wandered into the wrong direction. So this took me longer than it really should have. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit, just so we get through it quicker. The game itself doesn't seem to have any, like, true stealth mechanics, but I'm guessing this isn't the first time that we're going to be doing something like this. Of course, in the original Final Fantasy VII, there were a few, um, well, A, anyway, that I can think of, incident where you had to do something like this when you're in the Shinra building and you had to sort of sneak by the guards that were doing their weird little crisscross pattern. But it was less of a minigame and more of just something that you uh, had to do once and you got into a fight if you missed it. This guy actually saw me, but he doesn't seem to notice me. <laughs> what an idiot. If that's not well done, I don't know what is. Presenting the finest food you'll uh, ever eat. Great fucking bird! You're the best buzz! <laughs> Turned out pretty good if I do say so myself. Okay, boys, time to Um, maybe I should have just tried to offer to buy it off of them. I mean, tracking them down and beating the shit out of them over and over again. You know, it's fun and all, but mm, it gets a little tiring after a while. Of course, these guys are... You're not really meant to take these guys seriously. I guess maybe the first time you saw them... I remember thinking that maybe they built more of a threat than they actually were. But we just kept running into them over and over again in the origin in the previous game. And you see them even more here, and they just they're such pains in the asses. Ah, they found us. We're so dead. Ah! Get up, boy, would you? So you want this thing that bad, huh? <laughs> way you came after us, I figured. <laughs> Which means I was right all along. This thing's worth a fortune. So we ain't just gonna give it up, dumbass. I don't have time for this. Get the war right now, Buzz. Relax, boys. I've got just the plan. I call it bait in the hook. Yeah, hook in the bait. Me. So what? Uh, what's the bait? For all intensive purposes, it's you! <laughs> Me? Here, take this! Thanks! Can I eat it? <laughs> Chuck it for the gutcha! The pudgy one, Booch, Booch, <laughs> Butch, Booch, Butch got himself juiced up somehow, and now he can do more damage. But, you know, he's, like, he's got a bird with him, but we're still three on one, so we're just gonna kick the shit out of him. He's not gonna, like, none of these fights that we play as here are really difficult. And this is just more of, like, an endurance thing, having to go and jump through the, like, follow the icons on the map and track them down over and over again. Why this episode's gonna be so long. That was so worth it! <laughs> so, um, Cloud? The proto Relic does not appear to be at your location. Whatever. You can track it, can't you? I most certainly can. Not only that, I've deduced where the bandits are headed next. And on that note, I'll let you get back to it.
Hey, what you do with the hideout key? <laughs> Buried it underground so nobody can find it. You idiot! What if some good-for-nothing thugs break in and we get locked out? Oh, where did you come from? Save everyone the trouble and hand it over. Not the trouble, anything but that. Just do what he says, boss. Cool it. I've still got a trick up my sleeve. A trick I like to call diversionary tactics. <laughs> okay, you know what to do. Okay? <laughs> I bet you couldn't guess who's got it, even if you tried. Me? Uh, I... You see? The correct answer is... <laughs> Ta-da! Me, me, me! Look at these chums. <laughs> Our tactics got them totally divergent. <laughs> so, uh, what do we do now, boss? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> we make a run for it! Wait a sec, boss. What about the key? He ain't going nowhere. Just wait <laughs> And we fight him again. You think they would have real? Actually, this isn't even the same guys. These are just bandits. <laughs> Looks like they ran off, and we got stuck with the uh, <laughs> the leftovers here. They're even less equipped for this fight than the Butch and his idiots. I suppose we all have our off days. I want them to get away. That's the plan. Once they lead us to their hideout, then we hit up. I'm sorry to have ever doubted you. Before you resume your hunt, however, I'll need you to unearth the key they bear. It shouldn't be too tough if you have a joke about it. Looks like you found the key. Great. And in other news, the bandits have stopped running. Let's hope that the fourth time will be the proverbial charm. And here we are at the last hideout. That's the building. At one point, it was used for the storage of Shinra property, but the bandits have since turned it into a hideout and probably filled it with traps. And now they're playing dead for some reason, but they're talking to each other. I mean, these guys aren't really even made to be taken. I mean, they're definitely not made to be taken seriously, but they're not even made to be seen as any kind of a threat. They're just a bunch of bumbling idiots. Sort of the way that... Sort of in a way like that Don Corneo was portrayed as in the original game. Not, well, yeah, definitely even in the first time you encountered him, but definitely the second time you encountered him. He just came across as this weird old pervy fat guy that <laughs> just, you had to laugh at him. Ah, just cut his head off and he's fine. <laughs> These guys, they ratchet up the absurdity to like the 10th degree, though. It just, it's beyond ridiculous. So you gotta drop this box on top of them once you find the switch over in the corner of the room and then you can start the final encounter. Disfiguring defenseless corpses. You should be ashamed. Corpses, huh? Now listen, what I'm trying to say here is we don't gotta resort to violence. We can talk things out like gentlemen. Yeah. I'm trying to be nice. Walk all over me. You know what I think? You people are the real thieves. You bunch of scumbags. Real fallbacks. <laughs> Don't say I didn't try to keep it peaceful. You guys met with the wrong legitimate businessman. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. You know what I like to scum. Real fallback. Don't say I didn't. You guys messed with the wrong legitimate businessman. Now they brought the sweeper with them, so they're a little bit more of a threat now. So you got to take them a little bit more seriously. I I would recommend uh, focusing on the smaller guys and then the bigger guy, then take the sweeper out last. But be careful that it's gonna start wailing on you. So be able to dodge and block and all that kind of shit and like any robot i guess it's gonna be weak to lightning 
and the rest of the guys are going to be weak to fire, but you can hit them hard with like uh, what I just did there, Braver. And that'll do a lot of damage to all of them at once, as long as they're clustered up. So they'll, uh, Butch and the losers will go down pretty quick. What's the other member's names? I don't even know or care. Knock it off. My cat. I'm getting into some shit. Of course, the big guy is gonna... What's his name? Bart? Bart. Couldn't really read it from here. <laughs> he can take more damage than the others, but he'll still go down quicker than the sweeper. Staggered. And now just a sweeper. You can fuck the thing up pretty quickly as if everybody can focus on it. We have summon gauge building. You know, I'm not sure what the criteria for making the summon magic charge up like that. There's got to be something, because it doesn't always happen during boss battles. And it happens sometimes in non-boss battles. So, I don't know what it is that triggers it. These synergy abilities are pretty fun. They are overpowered, though. They do way too much damage. Okay. <laughs> I gotta change this summon up. I don't like this. The Chocomog. But whatever. Beat it up.
is a fire with purpose. Oh, yet a stripling. One whose metal must be tested. Oh, okay. Gilgamesh has something to do with it. Was Gilgamesh even a thing in the original Final Fantasy VII? I don't know, but he's in this one. <laughs> 